Welcome back to the Ozone. People are asking me that I get the new Xbox and the PlayStation. You see, I did. We're always on the cutting edge of all of the flowing. Let me cut this phone down before it starts going off. Let you guys know I had to get it. Let you know, check me out on Xbox Live, Boss Vegeta 1. If you want a game, hit me up, guys. But let's get started with the show. All right, guys, we're going to start off with something a little bit different today. Need some more casual dress things. So those of you who know this box, let me get some box action first. Those of you who know this box know what these are. I'm going to try to get you some, get you a little bit more box action. Try to get you some label action. I hope this focuses. Let me give it to you one more time. This is the Nike Air Fear of God Moccasin and the Particle Beige is it? Black Cell. Let's get it out the box. He didn't do too good out of all the Virgil shoes. I think this is his least popular shoe. A lot of people don't seem to like these moccasins. I got the black. I believe this when I have some high ones that they make, but uh, I never wore any. Like I said, when I get back into my casual things, I will start to wear uh, this shoe. Let's get Hawk up there so he can be with the shoe too. The guy can see it's pretty good colorway, has a pretty good toe box, but uh, a lot of people aren't into uh, dress clothes like moccasins, but. I said, if you're going to be doing some business meetings, going to certain places, you definitely need a little bit of difference. I hope you guys could see that Nike Air on the back here. Well, it's a pretty basic, just like a moccasin. You know, you're just getting a little bit dressed up. Go out there and throw on the mockies. You got one more 360. We'll move on to the next shoe. It's made of quite a fabric. Got your little strap here. So you got a little Nike button here. The translucent bottom. And you have a little drawstring back here. The Nike Air on the bottom of the shoe. Feels good. Looks like it'll last. I haven't tried them on, but they should be uh, pretty comfortable. Sorry for moving the camera. Cat's over here messing around with it. That seems to be a pretty decent bottom. Let me flip it so... The orientation I believe it should be. There you guys go. That's not bad at all. Pretty comfortable shoe. I got them on sale, so at the outlet. So if you guys can get down to your outlet, they aren't B grades, but they just weren't a popular shoe. You can find them on StockX for pretty cheap too. If you guys are looking, the only ones that are expensive are the highs. We're gonna get on to the next shoe, guys. Alright, our next shoe. Let me get you guys some box action. Open focuses. There we go. The next shoe is the Air Jordan 1 Mid Special Edition. White, Hyper Rural, and Black. Got these at a store called Snipes. I hope you guys can see I picked these up. I did a little restock. I missed these when they originally came out. I said since I've seen them, I might as well pick them up. Leave my boxes alone, you furry one. Let me get my cat out of my box. Get out of there, boy. That's my food. All right, let's give you guys, let's get Hawk up here. Let me give you guys some turning action. See, Hawk got to bobble his head for all the good shoot. Move this over. I'll tell you, cut it out, leave my box as well. Don't get cats, guys. It's a pretty good shoe. If you watched the last video, see that they're putting nappy suede at the top. 
smooth suede at the bottom. They're just doing it in multiple variations of the same shoe. Call them special editions. This one also has the little nylon or velvet uh, front, so it should last. Again, with this one, I wouldn't wear this shoe without uh, hitting the toe box up. Some type of uh, sneaker shield and using the shoe with either ozone or rejuvenator. Let's do another spin. We'll get on to the next shoe. I think I uh, pretty much like this shoe. I think people could probably do some good crafts with it. Uh, I think that's why they're putting the fabric on the front. So you can't do too many crafts and change the color. A lot of people have been doing a lot of customs with the Jordies they've been sending out. But uh, we're going to roll on to the next pair. Let's do this, guys. Alright guys, for our last shoe, those of you who haven't ever bought Jordan 35s, this is the first pair that I ran into in my collection that I'm unboxing. Let's get you guys some label action. I hope it focuses. Let me let you see the Jordan 35 box. How stupid they constructed. I don't get the bus in it open. That's one of the features that says there's be a futuristic style box when you open it, it opens like it's supposed to be like a spaceship or something so making a lot of people not like the Jordan 35 becoming damaged and scraped and all sorts of stuff Let's see if I close this stupid thing back up alright guys box is as closed as it needs to be get these shoes up here this is the main reason why we're here these is the Jordan 35, the DNAs. Let me tell you the color. It is the black, chili red, and white, a.k.a. the DNA. Jordan 35 DNAs. Let's start the spin. A lot of people in the hood are calling these the ice skaters. Because they sort of look like they got an ice skate bottom. This must be the Jordan DNA stitching. Another spin. This this tab comes off to protect your little Jordan tag. I'm not going to take that off and put these back in the box. Do not, I repeat, do not put these shoes in the box without this foam tab on or you will mess up the little tab on the back. I don't know what it's made out of, but it's very fragile and it fell off the back of one of my shoes. Do not take that tag. Oh, that off while you put it in the box. I like Jordan 35 so far. Looks like there shouldn't be any too many problems with Jordan 35s. Uh, I'll show you guys that bottom. It's got all zoom air in the bottom of the Jordan 35, so it's a very comfortable shoe. All of the new Nikes, which feature zoom. Are absolutely outstanding. So Jordan 35 black, white, chili red, aka the Jordan DNA 35. Alright, guys, thanks for watching. Remember to comment, subscribe. We're going to keep going through these shoes, trying to hit the end. Let me know which shoes you want to see next. Let me know if there's any collection videos you want to see of me posting my whole collection of shoes. And thanks again for watching. Everybody fucking